over here. Look at this. What is up at the bottom? Let, let, let's let, let's put it up here and show people. Let's put it's about it up. To fall through. Let's just put it up. Here. Where's the handle? Look at the look at this. First of all, what the hell is that? Not only look that, that. Look at the front part. It's about to fall. The fork or whatever was on that side is about to fall through that? there. What the hell is that? I'm wondering if this is a return. Look, that was sealed. Look, that was glued and tore open. Dude. I just got this bike. We got the uh, verification. Right, it was delivered. And when we were on the road, on the road, but looks like somebody's already done gone through it. It's the all new Mongoose 27.5 R door. Is that how you say yeah. it? R door? Yeah. What the hell's that? Let's break into it. What's the V part? <laughs> Well, Wolf so, Tick Nation, thank you yeah. guys for being here. This is going to be a very special episode, as you guys seen on the uh, little opening there. It's a kind of a bonus on a Tuesday. Yeah, it's a Tuesday bonus. So it's bonus. not really true bonus, because Tuesday's an upload day. Mm -hmm. We have got the all-new, everybody's been saying it. Hey, Ardor, well, and Ardor, Ardor. Uh, and is Ardor. that how you say it, Ardor? I don't anyway, know. Look, terrible it, name. Look, yeah, a terrible name, but here, here's the thing. The first person to bring it to our attention was Ulysses Del Toro. Ulysses Del Toro, appreciate you sending us That's the, the link. That's the first person that we've seen. He sent a link and he said, listen, you guys got to get this bike. I got to check it out. Yep. And I went ahead and ordered it. And, How much? Uh, 298 I think. 298 298 Now, apparently, this bike is supposed to be the uh, cat's... Another it's Mongoose. Another one. The, this is... An what, what are you, what's his name now? Now, under $300, and it's supposed to be Mongoose's first frame big box store frame that has a tapered head tube. And we're gonna get this bike, we're gonna weigh it, we're gonna talk about everything this bike comes with, we're gonna check it out for you guys, and then make sure you guys have notifications turned on and you guys are subscribed with the little bell thing, All because that. we're gonna be taking this thing, the official Wolf Tick Videos test track, we're taking this thing down to Cat's Meow. Is that the one we're gonna take it to? Oh, that's the one we're gonna take it to, do the real time review and see how it is going down the trail. Let's get into this bike and let's, uh, let's talk about it a little bit. We'll put yeah. it together. All right, ready, get in it. Here we right, go. go. Oh. Okay. Dude, the frame color. Uh, what do you think about the color. frame it's color? It's a matte burgundy-ish. It's a matte burgundy. Oh. Is that like Ron, Ron burgundy? burgundy? Those tires look fat. Those fat tires. Fat tires. Start right, putting yeah, it together, right. and then, your, uh, your, then your, we'll your, talk your, about your, it. Your, Dude. Your, all right, something, oh, man. something's wrong. I wonder if someone opened this and then took it back immediately. This Look is at not that good. spoke right there. It's got a bend in it. Now, there is some movement down here. It's loose as hell. Yeah. Maybe I can tighten that up. And a terrain stand. Yeah. Um, all the other spokes feel... So look at this is stabbed through the spoke right and now, here. And it's getting some rubbage. And it's rubbage. rubbage rubbing's racing. Dude, I don't like that. I don't like this whole Maybe, setup. Hopefully, we can tighten it. I don't know. God dang it. Yeah. The R door went together pretty well. R door, such a uh, weird name. Uh, Arder, R door. The Arder went together pretty well. The frame looks pretty cool. We're gonna talk about all the ins and outs. We're gonna weigh this bike. And the bike. what have you? And the what have you. It looks like the rear derailleur Pro Rush has a clutch. We'll talk all about. It. We're gonna uh, see how much chain slap it's got. Um, but before we do, I want to do a standover. Man, that's a uh -oh. twenty-seven five. Wow. That's how it should fit. I mean, look, I could squat a little bit here, right? A little crazy. That's how it should fit. It's almost like this bike, just by the looks of it, was intended to be a Schwinn Aluminum Comp 2 or something. And Schwinn said, hey, stand over that top tube real quick. Said, no, no. Hey, we are notorious for not knowing the standover height, how they should be. We don't want to get that down, guys. No, let's go ahead and give this to the Mongoose branch. Something. Anyway, I think they may have nailed it up here. 27.5. Anyway, let's get this thing on the bike stand. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. Well, here she is in all of her glory. I'm going to let you guys get a good look at it. The 2021 Mongoose Ardor. We're going to have to nickname this bike. Ardor just ain't working. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what this bike has to offer. 
And um, if you notice earlier when we were unboxing it, we were pointing out the bent spoke on there. The spoke is still bent, but I got my spoke tool. I tightened it up a little bit. We're going to email either Pacific Cycles or we're going to uh, do an email back to Walmart.com. We'll let you guys know how that goes on getting a new front wheel because that spoke is still bent. So that, and what else I want to point out? Uh, the cheapness of the sticker situation. Yeah, the cheapness of the sticker situation. Very sloppy sticker work um, from the chain stick to the uh, to the top tube man it's just a bad looking sticker work but the flip side of that is the frame is really good looking the frame is really good looking and we're gonna weigh this bike here in a little bit and I have to say I think this thing might be on the lighter end I, I'm gonna go maybe 32 pounds uh, it does have an actual tapered head tube but as you guys see, and I'll show you guys some more footage of it, that is the whole adapter, just like our Schwinn's that we're used to with the tapered head tube. Rechecked it already? Yeah, rechecked it. Uh, most likely, and we don't know this for a fact yet until we get to working on it, but it's probably a 44 to 56 millimeter um, internal diameter for a headset, but it does have the funky diameter because that fork is a straight steer fork, so don't get confused if you guys are going to get a fork for this thing. Get a headset. Get a headset. Shoot anyway. Yeah, the crown race is pretty much welded, tack welded onto the fork. So uh, about 17 inch frame, and as you guys saw, the standover is great on this thing for me. I can't wait to ride this thing and do a little real-time review for you, and just see, this might be the bike that I feel really comfortable with, almost like the Axum DP, you know? It kind of fits me, maybe, I don't know, we're going to find out. But uh, let's go ahead and start talking about the bike and the features that it's got, and all that it comes with, man, which you're going to get for $300 or less. Uh, let's start with the wheels. Now, this is something that really excite me. excites me is the wheels and the tires. The wheels are element wheels. They are double walled. They are aluminum. We got a magnet out. We tested them. And these tires are pretty awesome looking. They're Compass 30 TPI 27.5 by 2.6 inches, both front and rear. I'm a fat tire man. I love me some fat tires. And now this bike, we've got another 27.5 that can, uh, can accommodate a 2.6. That's awesome. The tread really doesn't look like it's gonna grip all that great on some of the trails here in Arkansas. It almost looks like a very light trail usage type of tread, but we do have some 2.6 tires around, so maybe we might be putting some tires on this thing. Uh, now let's go and start talking about the drive terrain. Now We're it does have, terrain. yes, that's enough. Now it does have well, a Well, you pro keep calling it drive terrain. Drive train. Thank you. It does have a Pro Rush 7 speed drivetrain. It is a one by, and what I like is it does have the trigger shifter up here. Up front here on the chain ring, it is a 30 tooth, and the rear is a 14 to 38 tooth rear free wheel. It's not a free hub, it's a free wheel. But so, it is sub $300 bike. Yeah, it is sub $300 bike. And with that, and as everybody knows on this budget channel, you're going to have the rear wheel that is not a quick release. But that, that's okay. I mean, it's $300 or less. You can throw some money at this bike, and I think it might be a pretty cool trail bike. The uh, crank arms are aluminum, and they're 170 millimeters long. So the pedals I'm not too impressed with. Oh, the derailleur, the ProRush derailleur. Um, as we said, it does have a clutch, but it also has a derailleur hanger. I just noticed that. So that's for all you guys out there that get real anal about the whole derailleur hanger. It does have one, so if you're to bend it or break it, you can just get yourself a new one. Now the seat, it's kind of a funky looking seat. I'm not sure how comfortable it's going to be. It does have some pretty neat um, print up on the top end, but it is a 27.2 millimeter or a diameter um, seat post and it is steel. So we did get a magnet and test that as well. The uh, brakes on this bike are unbranded but they they are uh, rotors and it is front and rear 160 millimeters so that's nice and they're the full size um, rectangular pad that we're kind of used Left to. That's the weird little round one. Yeah they are a, a full size rectangular pad like that sucker right there so uh, that's pretty cool when it comes to this bike I do like having more um, what would you call that more friction on the pad. More surface area. More surface area for stopping power. If you want to get to real technical we're very scientific on this channel. Extremely. Mm -hmm. now let's go ahead and start talking about the fork department, the bars and the stem. Oversized handlebar, mongoose. Now we figured what this is. Do you convert it to it's millimeters? A, it's seven fifty ish. Seven fifty ish. I guess that's oversized. But by the looks of it, the clamp I got all giddy over because I thought the clamp was a thirty five millimeter. It does look pretty beefy up there, mm -hmm. but it is a thirty one point eight. Okay. Now the stem is a four bolt stem. It's aluminum, but um, it's got probably about a ten millimeter rise, if that. 
But what I really like about the stem is it's 50 millimeters long. And uh, if you've been watching the channel, you know I am a short stem loving guy. I love to be on that tire and right over that fork. I feel that's where you can get the most amount of suspension, at least for my style of riding and our fork setups. And just those long drawn out stems, I hate being way the hell over the top of your tire. And this little short stem, I like it a lot. Uh, the grips are just... I don't know, they look pretty good, the grips look okay, but they're just like the Mongoose Malice that we've got, the same exact style of grips, they're not lock-on, nothing fancy, uh, you get enough riding, I mean it's already starting to spin right there in my hand, you get enough riding in the heat with this thing, your hands are going to be slipping off of it, but those will be definitely be getting changed out. The fork, now much like the wheel set, the fork is an element wheel, all-terrain suspension forks, watch out. Now, I'm not sure how much suspension travel we're going to get in these coil forks. They are steel, and we measured the stanchion length is about 92 millimeters. Now, that's not how much travel they've got, and I don't think they're going to travel that much at all. And they are 30 millimeters wide, if that does anything for you guys out there. As we said earlier, it's a straight steer tube. It's not a uh, tapered steer tube. And again, you will have to get a new headset if you want to get a new fork for this bike. We're going to do a drop test because it does have a little clutch switchy switch back here. And then we are going to uh, weigh this bike. And uh, we're going to go from there. But I'm excited about it. I think my biggest thing I'm like giddy over is it's $300. Right? Okay, so uh, drop test. Do you guys think it made that big of a difference? I don't know. I think that's just one of those selling features like most of the other Schw the Schwins have. I think that's a selling feature for the Mongoose to say, hey, this thing's got a clutch and people start freaking out about it. I don't know. Let us know in the comments what you think about the drop test. Did the clutch help? I'm going to... Uh, this bike is going to weigh 33.23 pounds. Oh, you went up in weight. Let me see. You went up in weight. Let me feel it. Oh, I'm going up in weight too. Oh, are you? I had said 34. I'm 34. now going to say 35. 35? 35. I'm saying 35. You're saying 33 and... 35.82 pounds. I almost said 36 too. Damn. Damn. Still, I was pretty close. Dang. Well, I'll tell you what. Earlier when I was saying my weight, I mean, you know, I thought that oh, was going to weigh. Oh, is this excuse time? Well, because I uh, this the seat wasn't in there yet, and I was like, "Damn!" And that damn kickstand. If I could have gotten it off, I would. Oh, whatever's better. All right, guys. Well, that is the 2021 Mongoose R Door Bike 27.5 uh, with 2.6 inch tires. Something to be excited about. A bike that's under 300 pounds. Um, Whoa, Jesus! I mean, you know, it's under 300 pounds. <laughs> under 300 dollars. And, uh, man, I'm really looking forward to doing the real-time review. Hope you guys are, too. I'm going to take this thing. We're going to take it down to Cat's Meow, and we're going to send it. It's going to yeah, be great. You always do. Hopefully, she holds up. Ooh, I don't know about that front end holding up. That's, that's a little chalky. A little chalky? A little chalky filling up there. But anyway, guys, uh, appreciate you watching Wolf Dick videos. As always, all the supporters out there, all of our coffee shout-out guys, man, thank you so much. Coffee um, purchasers. Yeah, coffee purchasers. Uh, this really helps... Uh, that stuff really helps us being able to do purchases like this and justify it. So thank you guys very much. Everybody else out there, if you have not, please like, please subscribe. Um, answer some of them questions in the comments. And guys, I uh, hope to see you Friday. Probably a Fork Frenzy video RC34 real-time review. Yeah. We'll see you.